Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will have a continuation of episodes of Water Flood playlist. And today's topic is about water encroachment problems. So if you're conducting water flight right now, if you're modeling water flood or water injection operation right now, this topic will be very important for you. Okay, but it will be brief. This video will be brief. So I'm just going to... Uh, to, to, to talk about some of the potential problems regarding water encroachment issue that can occur during water flood or water injection operation. Okay, so let's go ahead. All right, so the first thing is viscous fingering due to poor mobility ratio. So if you have, let's say, an injector there at the center of your reservoir section and you have producers there, and unfortunately, you have poor mobility ratio. Please remember that mobility ratio is the mobility of the displacing fluid. In this case, is water divided by the mobility of the displaced fluid. In this case, is oil. Okay, so if you have mobility ratio greater than one, it means that your water will move faster than your oil, all right? And your, your, your water, when you inject, your water will just go there directly fast to the producer. And this phenomena, we call this viscous fingering, all right? So after you inject water, the, the flow of the water will be like fingers and it is driven by viscous force, okay? So you remember in viscous force, one of the important parameter should be viscosity. And viscosity later on will be mobility ratio. Mobility, I mean. So mobility is, of course, permeability divided by viscosity. So it's mainly driven by the viscous force, viscous phenomena. So first thing, viscous fingering. By the way, some literature say that viscous, viscous fingering occurs mainly in microscopic scale, okay? Rather than macroscopic scale, but I, I, I don't think that's quite right, okay? Of course, viscous fingering can occur microscopically and macroscopically. But if you're talking about macroscopically, of course, it will not be viscous fingering alone, there will be other factors influencing the fingering shape of the water. Okay, so that's it. This is the first thing. This is the first problem that we can have that we need to face. It's viscous fingering due to a poor mobility ratio. Okay, by the way, if you want to check or if you want to read about this, you can go to this website. Okay, I take the picture from this website. Thank you. For this website, the picture is really, really good. And the second problem, unfortunately, we can face in the field is horizontal directional high permeability trend. So if somehow you have high permeability trend in that direction, okay, then of course, if you inject water here, water will move faster across this direction, okay? This can occur, for example, if you have, this is the direction of the maximum horizontal stress. So fracture will, will, will be propagated following this direction, okay? So in many cases, this direction where the high permeability trend is developed is because of this, the direction of the maximum horizontal stress. But not, only, not always, in many cases as well, this is just due to depositional issue, okay? So originally, the deposition is developed like that. Somehow, permeability trend is greater in, let's say, in a particular direction, whether it is like this, or it's like this, or it's like this, okay? Driven by the deposition. But again, it can also due to 
the maximum horizontal stress direction okay so that's it if you for example if you have high permeability trend like this direction then you need to arrange the position of your injectors in such a way that it will avoid the fast water breakthrough like in this case the position of this injector is not very good it will be much more effective if you set your injector there if you put if you drill your injector there okay so that's the second problem horizontal directional high permeability trend and the third thing is actually matrix channeling with cross flow plus viscose fingering 